Hey everyone, my name is Sia Zerbi, and if you're new to this channel, you've never watched our videos before, we make travel content. We have over 500 videos teaching people how to travel, but we've never made a video like this. This video is going to be about keeping your home safe when you travel. And the last thing you want is you go off, you have this amazing adventure, you go on vacation, you have an amazing time, you come home, a window's broken, and your TV's gone. Now using the information in this video, hopefully we can avoid these type of situations. Here is how to keep your home safe when you travel. Ring has partnered with us to make this video. It's their mission to make neighborhoods safer and it's our mission in this video to help make your home safer when you travel. Now they have video doorbells, they have floodlights, they have security systems, they have cameras for inside your house and we have a whole system set up here so when we're away we can check in, we can make sure that things are good and the video doorbell, so handy. Like if someone comes to our door and rings the doorbell, I get a notification on my phone and I can see who's there and I can talk to them. I was never able to do that before. So, so handy. Ring also has a special offer for you guys, so stay tuned to the rest of the video to find out what it is. Without further ado, here are 15 ways to keep your home safe while you travel. Ask neighbors to pick up your mail. This is the simplest thing to do to make your house not look like it's vacant, like no one's around, no one's handling the mail, no one's picking anything up. If you have newspapers just piling up on the front porch, if your mailbox is overflowing and exploding with letters, that's a key indication that nobody is home. Have a neighbor pick this up, keep it in a pile for you for when you get back. That way it looks like someone is coming in and out of the house and cleaning the mail. Have a friend stay over. If you have a friend with roommates or they're living with their parents or they have just a place that isn't that nice and they want to stay in your place, offer it up to them because it'll be used. Lights will be going on and off, people coming in and out, cars going in and out of the driveway. That way, you know, if someone is looking at your house to break in, they won't because they see that someone is coming in and out of the house. Leave a light on inside. Not just your front porch. If your front porch is on at night, sure that might deter some people, but if it's on all day and then all night and then all day and all night, it's a little obvious that no one's turning off this front porch light. So what I recommend to do is turn on a light on the inside of the house so that you kind of see like through the window or through the curtains that a light is on inside, so someone must be inside. You can also have a light that is on a timer. So at a certain hour, it goes on and then it goes off. Kind of like your Christmas lights. You can probably use the exact same timer for just a lamp or something else that it, it turns on and turns off. You can also use this for a radio too. So if you want some noise that's inside the house, that way, you know, it can deter some people if they're approaching your house and they hear noise coming from inside. Some of these tips are gonna seem like common sense. Others you've probably never heard of before. Lock all doors and windows. It seems obvious. I know that my parents lock their doors and their windows, so I thought until I lost my key when I was like 15 years old and I needed to get in and like half the windows were unlocked. So make sure that all your doors and all your windows are locked. Try and break into your own house. And if there's a sliding door and you need to put like a piece of wood in front of that sliding door, do it. Make sure that nobody can get into your house. I know, it seems like common sense, but people aren't doing it. Don't tell people you are leaving. If you're on the phone with a telemarketer and they're like, hey, hey how, how are you, you doing? doing? And you're like, yeah, great, I'm packing for a trip to Mexico for two weeks. That's telling a stranger that you're gonna be gone. Your house is vacant. If you have a plumber come in or a repair guy and they see that you're packing bags, you tell them, oh yeah, I'll be gone from this day to this day, I'll be back on the 18th. They're like, oh, okay, interesting. This house will be completely empty until the 18th. Don't tell people that you don't know that you're leaving. Leave a car in the driveway. I did some research before this video to look at what people who break into houses are looking for. What are key indications that a house is going to be good, 
to get into and leave without a trace. Often it's houses that are vacant, when there's no car in the driveway, when there's lights off, when mail's piling up, when all this stuff is going on that indicates nobody is home. So leaving a car in the driveway is a key indication that somebody is home. If you don't have a car to leave in the driveway, if you left on a road trip, ask a neighbor to leave their car in your driveway. Tell them that they can park it there at the end of the day and leave and take their car in the morning. Make it look occupied. So you can leave dirty shoes outside, you can leave the blinds open on the second story. That's a key indication that someone's upstairs and they might be looking out of a window. If everything is closed all the time, that might seem like it's obvious nobody's home. But if some of the blinds are open on the top floor where no one can actually get and see through a window, that way it might deter someone from coming into your house. Get the lawn mode or shovel the driveway. Make sure your lawn is being mowed while you're away. If it's in winter and you're leaving, make sure someone is shoveling your driveway. Pay the kid down the street in advance to mow your lawn or shovel your driveway. That way it's obvious that, you know, the house is being maintained. Someone's home. Have security cameras. We currently use the ring system. So creates like a ring of security around our place. We have cameras set up so we can always log into our phone. We can make sure that everything's okay at home. We can, we can just check in on stuff, which is really nice that, you know, rings cameras are set up to be on our cell phones. So I can like check in right here and I can see different rooms. I can see the outside. I can make sure that everything is, is okay while we're away. Ring also has a doorbell camera feature. So if someone comes to your house with like a package or they ring your bell, you actually get notified on your phone and then you can check in and see who's there. You can talk to them. Sometimes people will try and see if anyone's home and ring the bell. If no one answers the door, they know nobody's home. But if you can answer remotely, they don't know if you're home or if you're in Thailand, or if you're in Chile, or if you're in South Africa, it's all the same thing. You can pick up your phone, you can see their face, you can even screen capture it if you really want, but you can communicate with that person. That is a huge, huge deterrent from anyone thinking that nobody is home. As a listener, you have a special offer on the Ring Starter Kit available right now. The kit includes a video doorbell and motion activated spotlight cam which is actually everything you need to start building a ring of security around your home. To get this offer, you just have to go to ring.com slash HTG. It's great that some of their cameras are also battery powered, so you can put it in a specific location that you want. If you want it aimed out the window, if you want it aimed at a door, a back door, a basement door, whatever, you can do that because it's battery powered. So if you're gone for the day or the weekend, it's, it's easy to just move a camera and you don't have to deal with any wires. Cancel deliveries and mail. So you can actually put your mail on hold. If you call the post office and you just say like, hey, can you hold on to my mail for the next like two weeks? That can be done really easily. You can also like, if you have Amazon orders coming in, you can just put them on hold or make sure that nothing is being delivered and left at your door when you're away. That being said, with the ring system, if someone rings your doorbell and you get a notification on your phone and you're not there, you can just tell them to, you know, take the package, you're not gonna be home for the next hour, even though you might be gone for a few weeks. Remove the package so nothing, nothing's left at your door. Disable garage door opener. If you guys have a remote garage door opener, did you know that there are universal garage door openers? I know, I was just as shocked. I didn't know someone could just drive around with a universal remote opener and try and open my door. Like that's, that's scary. A lot of people's garages have a lot of valuables in them and some of them actually lead into the house. And how often do you lock that door? Keep valuables safe and out of sight. If you have a window without curtains in it, well, first of all, get curtains, but if you have a window without curtains, don't have anything valuable sitting, you know, on the other side of that window, someone can come in and see. You peek in, there's a fancy watch by the window, or, you know, there's a phone sitting there. You forgot your phone and you went traveling. Oh my God. Don't leave your valuables sitting around. Label your luggage safely. When I'm traveling, I put a luggage tag on the outside of my luggage. 
I put my address there, I put my name, put my phone number, put my email address, everything, all my information is sitting on this tag on a piece of luggage that tells anyone that sees that piece of luggage, no one is at this address. I had never thought of this before, but anyone who handles my luggage knows that I'm not there. What's recommended is that instead of putting it on the outside, you can put your name on the outside, but put your address on the inside. Put it in a piece of paper or somewhere so that if it gets lost and they open it up, they see your address on the inside and they can get it back to you. If you're concerned about putting your home address on this piece of paper at all, then I recommend putting it somewhere else where you regularly go. Put it to a, a gym that you go to. Put it to your work address. You know, somewhere else that isn't your home. Don't announce you're leaving on social media. Because that opens it up to strangers and friends of friends and friends and friends and friends of friends to know that you are away. People like us, we take pictures of us packing, us at the airport, us leaving real time. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. We have security cameras and a dog. Move the spare key from outside. Yeah, a lot of people have their spare key under a mat, on a door sill, in a window sill, under a plant, under a fake rock. Just people leave a key within like five, 10 meters of their front door. You know how easy it is to have like a little magnet and like find the key or to look under stuff? Like, it's pretty easy. So make sure not to do this. Anyone who wants to break into your house is gonna see a plant and try and pick it up and look for a key here and there and then easily just get in. I hope that these tips really helped you guys out. I want you to be safe when you travel and I want your home to be safe when you travel. Home is, is a temple, is a safe place. I want all your stuff inside to be safe and using some or all of these tips can hopefully deter somebody from entering your house, you know, stop a dramatic situation from happening because the worst thing at the end of a trip is to come home and now you have to deal with a problem at home. So use these and prevent a possible situation from happening. If I missed anything, if you guys do things that I didn't talk about, let me know. I'm sure that there's way more out there in the world to you know, deter someone from coming in. So thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.